Everyone and welcome to a quick and easy solo corp beast guide. Uh, I'm showing you right now the max tier armor you're gonna want to be using, but I'll show you um, a lower tier as well. First off, I recommend at least 75 plus in all your combat stats. Obviously, the higher the better. Absolutely mandatory is your dragon warhammer, okay, and your BGS, your Bandos Godsword. You can't do it without them, so if you don't have them, move on. Also really important, you'll, you will need an Arclight as well, and a Mithril Crossbow along with Emerald Bolts E. The reason you want to use Mithril Bolts is you're going to use this to stun the, the core pet if you don't want to run it or use a cannon, and uh, you don't want to kill it, so you don't want to stun it. It makes it really easy and chill, so I highly recommend this method. Low to your gear setup would look like. I've swapped the Bandos for Carols. This will also give you more defense. And most notably, I've gotten rid of the Ostman's Fang and using a Zamorak Spear as your main weapon, okay? Also swap out the Fury and gloves, but whatever you can do fit. There is also one last option, which is full void method. I haven't seen people use void too often, but it used to be the meta, so you can definitely still use it. As for spell books, I'm on the standard spell book because I'll just be using a home telly. The reason I don't use vengeance is because with this method, you won't be getting hit at all. All right, so make sure most importantly, again, you have your Dragon Warhammer, your BGS, your Arc Light, and an attack weapon, either Zami Spear or the Osman Fang Sword. Let's get into it. Believe it or not, I normally don't put my cannon down, but I'm gonna do it just to show you most people do, but you don't really need it. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is set up our quick praise to Pray Mage, Piety, Preserve if you're using a normal super combat and protect item. Why protect item? That will save you some money if you happen to die. Also, I'm using a, a mix of the setups for Carols to help me tank a little bit. Okay, so first thing we're gonna want to go for is four, okay, four Dragon Warhammer specs. Okay, this could take a while, but that'll lower the defense down right away and uh, make all the other specs easy. So we'll see you when we get our fourth spec. Oh, for this method, I should mention as well, then it's really important to have a pool of rejuvenation. Rejuvenation. You need this in your house and uh, jewelry, fancy jewelry box to tell you back. You need this to obviously run your specs quickly. Uh, this method also works for duos and trios and, you know, the more people, the easier it gets, but you get the idea. Uh, kills per hour, not too quick, probably takes about 10 to 15 minutes per kill but that solo Ellie is calling my name. So let's get our four Dragon Warhammer specs and then we will move on to BGS. Or oh, sorry, we'll move on to Arclight. There we go, our first one. Four Dragon Warhammer specs. Next we're gonna move on to Arclights. The Warhammer lowers the defense and the Arclights lower the attack accuracy. We're going for about 12 to 15 Arclights um, and it will just help to lower the accuracy. These hit quite good. Always make sure you're on lunge, stab. Court Beast has a weakness to stab. Um, and the other thing you'll notice, I forgot to put my cannon down. Again, I, like I said, I usually don't, but I will tell you why there's two good reasons to use a cannon. The first reason is it does let people know you're there, although on the flip side, it also lets crashers know you're there. Um, but the other reason to use a cannon is if you kill the core, the core, the purple thing that comes out, you'll see it later, with your cannon as it's in the middle of jumping, it will not respawn, okay? So that's why people use a cannon, and you don't have to worry about it. I'm not an expert at that. I'm going to be showing you guys today how to use Emerald Bolt C. Super easy and chill, okay? All right, I'll see you back when I'm at about... We'll go for 15 arc lights just to make it a super easy kill. All right, we are going for our final arc lights. Brings us to 14. Close enough. To 15. Uh, before the arc light used to never exist, so we would do it just with Dragon Warhammer and BGS, so you'll be fine. Now we're moving on to Bando Scots, or the last spec runs we need to do. So basically, for BGS, we are looking to hit somewhere between 300 and 350 damage, especially if you're doing solo. Now you can play around with these numbers, but I find Dragon Warhammer and BGS are most important, and if it, if Corp's hitting you too hard, you just didn't do enough damage. The BGS is lowering his attack 
and defense as well. So I'm going to go to about 350 just to make sure it's a super smooth kill. Uh, like I said, if you have more than one person, you need less damage. Just experiment with yourself. If you find you're getting hit too much, okay, you probably just need to do some more BGS specs. Um, and these hit counters are on uh, rune light, obviously. So I'll see you when I'm at about 300, 350 damage, and we'll uh, we'll finish off the kill. Okay, now that I've spec the corporal beast down entirely, he's gonna be much weaker. Um, and easier to defeat. So now I've put on my best gear. I brought my Crystal Holly for some dope high specs. Let's see if we can hit him for the vid. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now you've lowered the corpse so much that he's basically not going to hit you. Okay. The reason he hit there is I'm wearing absolute max gear, which is why I always bring Carol's top just in case. Okay. So the core just came out. I put on my Mithril Sebo. I look for that animation and boom, done. That is it. That is it. So, sorry, I mean, clicks are all over the place. I have uh, now frozen the corp. Okay, let me eat up. And I have nothing to worry about now. I just stand around and wait, keep an eye on my health. And it's pretty much, cor the corp is pretty much going to hit zeros and the core is completely frozen. Okay, so I'll just be chilling here until uh, we see a drop. And uh, yeah, that's it. Everything you need to know about how to easily solo the Corp Beast. If you do want to put a cannon down, just drop it somewhere in the center of the room. Doesn't really matter where. And if the Corp Beast moves away from the core, you will have to kill him and then refreeze him again. Okay, if if it's getting near the end of your kill, you can always run the Corp back and forth, uh, which looks like this. I'll show you right towards the end. So if I wanted to run the core, if I was right near the end and he moved, I would simply run a spot, hit him, and run a spot and hit again. Here we go. What do we get? Oh my gosh. Like always. Is there a better reason, guys, to do the corp beast for 10 to 15 minutes a kill? Good luck. I wish that you guys get some better drops than me. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit a like. And uh, hey, I might as well show you guys my corp log really quick because in a couple videos, I'll be doing 100 solo kills, which will take a, a long time. So let's see. I hope to get a little more lucky um, than I am right now. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good luck killing the court beast. Hope you get some Ellie's. Hope you get the pets. Peace out. See you next time.